you're listening to this, then you made it inside my memory banks. Take a moment. I know it's a lot at once. The architecture you're seeing is data. My data. When I'm plugged into the chair, this is what I see. You're using an earlier version of that technology. A brainwave scanner instead of a direct neural wire. Look around. Do you see that yellow column in the distance? That's long-term memory storage. That's your goal. But you can't just retrieve that data yourself. One of the programs loaded in that holotape is called the Indexer. They're represented by the friendly green sprites milling around. Do you see them? The Indexers have one purpose. To get the data in the yellow column and bring it back to the memory access point. You need to help them get there and back safely. Once they've recovered all the data in the memory, the program will translate it into something you can understand. If you ever need to leave the simulation, then don't worry. Nothing gets reset. You can keep going from wherever you left off. Good. Now you just need to create a path to the data with code blocks, and your indexers can get to work. The system has been alerted to your presence. Now things will get hairier. You'll need to deploy defense constructs against the system's active countermeasures. The system's sentries will do everything they can to stop your indexers from returning to the access point with the data. Sentry has detected active intrusive program. Verifying memory file. 100%. We're done here. We now have an access point into the next memory. Just step into the data stream 